I mean, yeah, it's an adjustment, but we're still running the same offense, same plays. I just gotta go out there and execute. My number's called now. That's really all I can do. And uh, just take it from there. Those guys. Just pretty even. Basically right down the middle. Is that an indication of what it's gonna be like on Saturday? How, how, how do you know? How, I mean, how will you be used? I think it is. Uh, I'm really not 100% sure. That's the coach's decision. I mean, uh, that's what I think the deal is. We're gonna split it. Um, and then uh, just take it from there. Good Coach Anderson suggested it was a possibility you could line up at wide on not to give away secrets, but what is your comfort level at attempting that at some point this season? I mean, yeah, I, mean, I used to play back in high school. I used to love the position. Uh, uh, I mean, if it is, if that's what they want, then I'll go out there and, uh, and uh, I'll try to execute what they want me, they want me to do. Uh, but, I mean, whatever it is, uh, takes to win, I'm on board. So. Every, every quarterback who's ever played where they've used two in the game has said one of the keys is to stay in rhythm, stay in the game. What do you think the challenges might be for both of you guys? I mean, it is a challenge to, to stay in rhythm. If, you, if you're in first series and you feel like you're starting to get hang of it and the next guy goes in, I mean, you just got to stay focused, uh, stay loose, and uh, just keep watching the game and, and be ready when your number's called. Have you ever been in a situation like this before? I mean, you haven't played quarterback a lot. But. Yeah, no, I haven't. No, not yet. Not yet. Tanner, does any part of you wonder, you know, what things would have been like if you would have been used more as kind of the option style guy? I mean, it seemed like they asked a lot of you just being still a pocket type passer. Right. Maybe that your skill set was more run oriented. Have you thought at all about if you would have been used? Oh, some different offense kind of deal. No, no, if you had been used a little bit differently this year, and maybe not have been expected to throw as much like that. Uh, I mean, I, I really don't know. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I mean, I think I can do what the offense is asking, uh, calling us to do. Um, I just got to go out there and execute it the way I know I can. I do in practice. I try to take it on the field and show it on, uh, show it on tape. Have you been playing any wide receiver in practice yet? No, I haven't. Is there any part of you that has sort of wondered about, you know, the first five games, what, what you could have done better? Or do you have to not get caught up in that because there's still a season to play? Yeah, I think any position, let's say they, they can go back to a few plays in each game where they want back. Uh, but I mean, I learned a lot from every one of those games. Uh, each one of those reps counted. Uh, I just gotta make the next ones count even more, and uh, just go out there and, and try to help this team win. What kind of relationship do you have with Joel? Do you think? Good. I mean, Joel and I. I mean, we understand the deal. Uh, we're competing, but we're helping each other too at the same time. Uh, I mean, we just gotta we just gotta accept the challenge, and just go out there and execute and uh, just push each other to make each other better and make the team better. Coach was talking about how it could open up a can of worms for defenses for you know both of you guys playing, knowing that what you do well. You've played defense before. You know, if you're preparing to face Wisconsin's offense, what do you see? What's difficult? I mean, we have a lot of weapons uh, between our running backs, our line, and our receivers, and then uh, Joel and I at the quarterback. Uh, I play defense. I mean, we got a certain amount of days to prepare for it. Um, we got a lot of things that defense has probably got to uh, think into and be ready for it, to be prepared for. It. And uh, I mean, we got to go out there and execute it. And uh, if we do that, I think we got a pretty damn good offense. Is it difficult, um, difficult not knowing what's going to happen on Saturday? I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I guess. I mean. I knew it was going to happen. I mean, uh, it'd be a little easier, but uh, like I said, I mean, all I got to do is just be prepared uh, whenever my number's called. And, uh, just go out there and, and just make the most of my reps and uh, try to get in a rhythm and uh, try to get the win. We talked to Andy about this way back in camp. He said, Yeah, we we I mean, we got a game plan. Uh, we're, we're prepared for it. Uh, some things in, uh, I mean, but it's two quarterbacks. Uh, it's different. Um, teams have done it and won, so I mean, we got to be able to, got to be able to execute the game plan and, uh, and get a win. Do you have any concerns at all just about the continuity of offense? You know, if one guy gets hot, because Gary has said if, if one guy gets hot, maybe he runs. Yeah, happen. I mean that is, that is what it is when two quarterbacks are playing. Um, but like I said earlier, I mean, if, I, if that's not me, I got to make sure I'm prepared. My numbers are called again, or if it is me, I got to keep going and get the win. So I mean, that's that's kind of out of my control. I just got to be able to go out there and execute. I got a history test. <laughs> I'm talking about this. History and math test. Anything else, guys? Just want to know about it? We're good. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, Thanks, cool. Guys.